strife was so great, they stole him from us. Bring it they out. Painted him to look like them. Bring right. That's how great our Messiah is. That they made him look like them. Right. Right. Huh? Understand that. And the distance. If you ain't get it, it was never meant it. The spirit probably never bear with us. If it did, you would roll with us. We the chosen, we the go get us. This one here for the heathens. We the new, y'all the old school. King David with the dance moves. Black beside with the water shoes. Backstroking on them. Watch out, he got the water moves. Backstroking on them. Set the stone, we can never lose. For far so too long, our people have been in the lower state. Right. God gave us laws, but we refuse to keep God's laws. He gave us commandments to make us above, to make us special, but we refuse that thing. Deuteronomy chapter 27 and verse 1. Come on. Yeah. And Moses with the elders of Israel. God gave Moses, when Moses went to the, onto the mount, right? The most High God gave him commandments. They gave us commandments to give to the children of Israel because the children of Israel is God's chosen people. That's you right. black men, you black women, Hispanic men, Hispanic women, and Native American, you are God's chosen people. That's, That's right. right. And Moses with the elders of Israel uh -huh. commanded the people, saying, uh -huh. keep all the commandments. Keep with all the commandments, not some. Because when you go in these churches nowadays, the churches, the pastor telling you that God's laws are done away with. Right. But if the Bible say what? Keep all the commandments which I have which I commanded you this day. Read it again. And Moses with the elders of Israel Come on. commanded the people saying, Keep all the commandments which I commanded you, which I command you this day. He said, keep all God's commandments, not some of it. Today's the Sabbath day. While we are the lower state, have we been keeping God's commandments? No, we have not. We have not been keeping God's commandment. How you doing, my sister? You got, you got uh, a couple minutes? Uh, I'm going to get my package. I'll uh, come back. Come back when you get your package. Okay, I want to tell you something about God's word. Do you know who you are according to the scriptures? Do you know who you are? You're not who, who you are. Who are you according to the Bible? Because in the Bible, right, in Revelation, the gate, there's two of gates to the kingdom of heaven, right? Mm -hmm. Your nationality, do your nationality have a gift? Do my what now? There's a 12 gift to the kingdom of heaven, right? Mm -hmm. Each gift of for the 12 tribe of Israel. That's the only people that can get into the kingdom of heaven. Do you have a tribe that is listed on one of these gates? Do you have a tribe? Mm -hmm. What's your tribe? According to the scripture, what is your tribe? Because there's no gift called African American. There's no gift called Black American. There's no gift called Afro-American. These are all labels that the white man gave upon us so we can be confused. That's so we right. cannot know who you are according to the scripture. You understand? You are God's chosen people. You're the Israelite, the lost tribe of Israel. You right. understand? Give me Matthew uh, 15 verse 24. Because Bring Christ out for you. You understand? The white man lied to us to keep us at the lower state. That's why you see we're in the ghetto. But why are we in the ghetto though? Because of our own iniquity. You understand? Check this out real quick. Read it. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Uh -huh. But he answered and said. That's Christ. Christ answered and said what he said. I am not sent. But what? But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So you got to think to yourself. He's saying he's not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, right? He, it's the white man lost. He's not lost. The white man know who he is. He can try by his 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 his, his, uh, his generation to the Caucasus Mountain. You understand? But we don't know who we are. The Chinese men know who they are. The East Indian men know who they are. But we don't know who we are. Right. That's what Christ said. I am not sent but unto what? But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. To the house of Israel. We are the lost people. We don't know who we are. We call ourselves black. We call ourselves African American. We call ourselves Afro American. Who on this earth? Or confused apart from us. It's only us that confused. You understand? That's now we gotta come back. Give me Hosea 4 verse 1. 
We gotta come back to who we are, our true identity. We are God's chosen people. He punished us because we don't want to keep God his laws. It's just that like you as a mother, when you, you have a, a son, you Bring have children. Out. If you tell them to do something, they don't do what you're gonna do. You're gonna discipline them. Yes, right. You're gonna punish them. That's, a, that's why God is punishing us right now. You, right. Don't, you don't punish everybody else because everybody else is not his children. Bring it out. only us. And I'm gonna I'm I'm ask you about your cross real quick, sister, just for a few minutes. Hosea oh, chapter 14, verse 1. Uh -huh. Yo. Oh, Israel. Oh, Israel, talking to you and me. Come on. Return unto the Lord. That's, thy what, God. that's what you must do, and that's what I must do. You understand? I was in the war before. I used to go to club, I used to do all kind of nonsense. But what did I do? I returned to God because I know this Bible was talking to me. Right. This Bible was talking to our people. That's what we must do today. We are oh. a nation not desired. Right. That's what to shoot our people in the street. And they were not going to be uh, held accountable for their, for their justice. Because what? This country was built on our, our, our blood. Okay. And it's not, it's, gonna, it's not going to stop until we return to God. Right. He turned his back on us until we can figure it out. You understand? Read that. For thou has fallen. We have fallen low. Look at, look at the condition we're living in. We're the last hire. We're the first fire. Yeah. Right. Look at the condition we're living in. You can only see the black and Hispanic in the ghetto. Right. You just see the white man in the ghetto. You're just gonna have property in the ghetto and rent it to us. You understand? We that. For thou has fallen. We have fallen what? But thou iniquity. Because of our iniquity. You understand? Because of our iniquity. Your cross on your neck. You know we're not supposed to work. You know we're not supposed to. Uh, I've heard that. I've heard that. What, what, what you heard? What did you hear about it? Are you supposed to wear this? Then why, you, then why are you worried, my sister? Oh. We, we, we the kind of people, we like to see something. We like to see, uh, for example, if yeah. somebody steal, like when you go to Africa, right? If somebody steal, they beat that person to death. They beat them. That will show an example to the next person that are going to steal, but the hell no, I'm not going to steal it. We are the people like that. We like to see something before we do. It's written in the scripture, we should not have no graven image. Read that real quick, bro. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 18. Bring it out! What profit the graven image? Said, what profit a graven image? A graven image is anything somebody take and, 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 and fix it with either a uh, hot iron or something graven. Like a, 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 a plant, a tree, the graven, try to make it out of an image. That's what on your neck right now, a graven image. What profit a graven image? Come on. That the maker thereof has graven it. Because somebody in the shop graven that image on your neck. Come on. The multi image. Multi image, we got to make that image on you. Come on. And a teacher of lies. What that image teach you? Jesus. What color is Jesus? Black. How you know Jesus is black? I know for myself. Know for yourself. Spiritually, yeah. Spiritually. We're gonna get on to that. That image is a teacher of black. Because with that image, it gives you a different spirit. You understand? They give you, that's, that's how you, that's how you, you, uh, you come up with Christianity. You understand? The Bible is nothing about Christianity. Right! You understand? Because the Christian church is just want your money. The Bible is all about keeping God's law. That's it's right! right. In order. We if we keep His laws, we are above our nation. But if we don't keep His laws, we are on the bottom of society. Right! We are right now. You understand? That graven image, we're supposed to have no dealing with it. Because what? It have no relationship to Christ. Christ said, if you love him, do what? Read that for the sister. If you love him, you gotta do certain things. Because if I say I love you, I'm supposed to take care of you. It's an actual word. If you say you love Christ, what are you supposed to be doing? Read that. Bring it out! If you love me! You say you love him. I say I love him. Everybody else said they love him. But what, what can we do to make him know that we love him for real? Come on. Keep my commandments. You see that? Read that again. If you love me, do what? Keep my commandments. Keep his commandments. No too much talking, talking, talking. We got to do action. You understand? Now let me show you one commandment. You understand? Let me show you one commandment. And let me show you. Give me, give me, give me Christ. Let me show you the feature of Christ. How Christ looked like according to the scripture. Look at us. We are the Your daughter, she's gonna look up to you as her example. You understand? You gotta be her role model. You understand? If you love herself, she's gonna love herself. If you don't love yourself, she's not gonna love herself. 
You understand? We in Christ. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Come on. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelation means to reveal. Now they're going to reveal what Jesus Christ looked like because we have been lacking image. That's why we look to we look at everywhere for image to feel comfortable uh, to, uh, to feel comfortable. You understand? We have an image in the Bible. It was created in God's own image. The first man, Adam, was made from the dirt. What color is the dirt? A dark skin man. You can never get a cloud what from the know? dirt. But we don't know that thing. That's why we bleach our skin. We take pride in all the other nations. We want to be like them. Why they want to be like you? They send it on the sun. We want to get ten just to be like you. Right. But you want to bleach your skin to be like them. You see how confused we are? Read that. Verse fourteen. Come on. His hair. Now they're talking about his hair on, on his on his hair. Come on. And his hair. And his hair on his face. Come on. We're white like wool. Like wool. Who have a woolly hair? Lift that thing up, bro. Who have a woolly hair? Black people have a woolly hair. You understand? We gotta take pride in that thing. You understand? Know we gotta love ourselves. We gotta love ourselves. Come on. As white as snow. White as snow. Come on. And his eyes. And his eyes. Come on. Where's the flame of fire? His eye was red because it was prophesied that his, his eyes would be red. His first miracle, he changed water into wine. He drank but in moderation. Come on. And his feet. Nah, that's the banger. His feet. I, Christ, he drank wine in moderation. His first miracle was changing the water into wine at the wedding. You understand? Now they say his feet. His feet. I can look at your feet. The feet complexion is the same complexion as the whole body. So they say Christ's feet. Come on. Like on the fine grass. Like on the fine grass. Grass is a brownish color. You understand? His feet like on the fine grass. Come on. As if. They burn in the furnace. As if they burn in the furnace. Anything you take, you put it in the OV. What color is going to come out? Yeah, I'm asking you. Anything you take, you burn it. What color is going to be? Yeah. Then why the hell do we have white image in the church? Why do we have this image in the church? Oh. Why in the Bible is telling you that Christ is a black man? Ah. You see how we've been deceived? This, this lie got to stop. And it takes strong men to bring the, the to bring that, that, oh, that right, nonsense. Right, right. The church has got this nonsense in the church, deceiving our people, right. telling them we don't gotta keep no laws. Right. But God still gotta keep his laws. Christ is a black man that looked like you, that looked just like me. That's right. on Micah chapter 7 and verse 32. Because we suffer today because of our sin. We don't have no identity to reflect to relate to. You understand? That's why the white men don't value us because we don't value ourselves. We are made in his image. Second Maccabees chapter 7 and verse 32. Uh -huh. For we suffer. But we suffer. We are suffering today. Right now we suffer every day to get food, to put food on our table. Right. Every day is a struggle. Every day we suffer. Why we suffer? Come on. Because of our sins. See that? Because of our sins. And we the only people that can stop that. If we want to return to God and you seek a face and repent. That's the only way we do we can do that. But we don't want to do that. We want to mingle around the nation. We want to marry white men. We want to marry white women. We want to mingle among them. God said you are special. Want something special? This person is it gotta be apart from everybody else. Something that's special, don't go mingle itself with something that's not special. Bring it out. When you're special, you gotta be around people that are special. We gotta change. We gotta repent. Let me show you something, sister, about your hair. Go to uh, the video Because you see, you have a, a blonde hair on your hair, right? You wasn't born like that. I know I wasn't born like that. You wasn't born like that. That's something we gotta come out of. I don't know. Because when you look in the yeah. mirror, you gotta see Christ in you. You gotta see your full mothers in you. Right. That's right. You cannot see, you cannot want to be like the oppressor. Our people right now believe in this. The same people that put you into slavery. You think there's a God that looks like this is going to save you? It cannot be. His people on earth right now oppressing you and you think you're going to see a white man coming and saving you? Teach! Ah, blasphemy! It's a lie! Teach! Let me, let me get on your hair real quick. Read that. Leviticus chapter 13 and verse 29. Because see, a lot of our women right now got blonde hair. And you teaching example, you teaching the little kids that it's okay, that you can do it. You understand? Read. If a man or woman has a plague upon the head, plague upon the head, come on, or beard, 
that the priest shall see the plague and behold if it be in sight deeper than the skin then there that there be in it a yellow thing here a yellow thing here blind is another word for yellow you understand a yellow thing here come on then the priest shall pronounce him unclean you see that when you have a yellow hair you're unclean because what's made in Christ's image that's the author of beauty he defined what beauty is and he's a dark skinned man King Solomon a dark skinned man Job a dark skinned man right all of them comely so why you want to be like the other nation my sister bring it out why you want to downgrade yourself give me Deuteronomy chapter 7 Christ said you are special bring it out you are chosen you are beautiful in his image Teach. so why we want to be like them because we have discontinued from our heritage right That's right our heritage is this Bible. Right. You understand? You gotta come back to him. Tell him to come to Romans chapter 7, verse 6. Come on. For thou art an holy people. He's talking to you. You are an holy people. Come on. Unto the Lord thy God. Uh huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He's chosen you to be what? To be a special people. Come on. Unto himself. Unto himself. Possessive. Unto himself. Come on. Above all. People. Above all people, that was the plan for you and I. But we refused to keep this law. That's why he turned his back on us. See that? That's why you think we are better than anything we put our hands in? We, we do it better. Right. Basketball, we do it better. Right. Anything we do, because we are made in his image. That's the right. first man was a black man. And God, right. gave, God gave him dominion over the whole earth. That's, right. That's why we are special. We are chosen. You understand? We gotta come out of the world. Right. Give me James chapter 4 and verse 4. Bring it Bring it out. Out. We gotta stop doing what everybody else is doing. Because that's not gonna profit you. Right. See what profit a man if he gets in the whole world and loses his soul. Tomorrow is not promised to you. Right now you gotta hear God's words and do it. And change, and change. You understand? Know James you know. chapter four, verse four. Uh -huh. Ye adulterers and adulteresses. Come on. Know ye not that the friendship of the world? The friendship of the world. You want to be friend with the world. You want to hold it tight. You don't want to let it go. The friendship of the world is what? It's enmity with God. We all over here had to make that same decision to leave the world. Because we all, we all was in the world before. We used to do all kind of abominable things. You understand? Buy and sell on the Sabbath day, which is today. We used to do all kind of nonsense. Today's the Sabbath day, no buying, no selling. But what we do? We leave, we leave that. Because we know that we're special. We know that we have to keep God's laws. You understand? Let me show you another law as your preferences. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 22. Because there's a law you gotta keep. There's a law you gotta keep, sis. Bring it out. There's a law you gotta keep. Men, men and women are supposed to be wearing the same attire. Except for when the, the, the how you look, I can tell who you are with how you look. You right. understand? I can see a responsible woman. I can see a woman that's not responsible by Get their out. dressing. You understand? It's all about how you look. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Of I got a dress code just for us. We are special. You think we are special? We're supposed to dress like everybody else? No, we're not. Come on, read it. The woman, the woman, which is you, come on, shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What does that mean, sis? Read it again, sis. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What does that mean? It said, the woman shall not wear that which pertain unto a man. What does that mean? Don't dress like a man. Don't dress like a man. <laughs> so now. Yeah. What our sister wearing today that belongs to me? Thing, thing, you, you know it. What our sister wearing nowadays that pertain to me? Okay, Bring I'm it gonna, out! I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a hint. I'm give you a hint. Give you a hint. The woman shall not wear that which pertain unto a man. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Listen, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. <laughs> If I was wearing a dress, would you take me seriously? Yeah. That's a that's a woman attire, right? Yeah. So what is a a man attire that women's wear? 
when you go to the bathroom, right? There's two signs. What's the woman wearing on the bathroom? How can you know that this, the bathroom is for women? It's a woman bathroom. Yeah. Dress. That's a woman attire from the gecko. You understand? How people can slip See this? Pick and cut it in dress and skirt. You understand? Pick and cut it in dress and skirt. That's the real. That's the, that's how women supposed to be modesty. They're supposed to show your ship. I'm not supposed to see your ship. Your ship is for only your husband. You understand? That's modesty. I can I can be able to tell anything that's for your husband. You understand? Read that again. I'm gonna give you the answer. The woman shall not wear that which pretended unto a man. What pretend to to a man? It's pants. Pants. You have a zipper. What are you taking out the zipper? You're not supposed to wear pants. You're not supposed to wear pants at all. You never know that, right? Pants is for men. Let me tell you. Let me show yes, you the, or, the, or, the or origin of pants. Give me. Uh, let, me let me show you the origin of pants. Because pants, the, the feminist movement, right? The feminine movement, I think it was World War II. World War II when the, the, uh, the men went for war, right? That's when the, the women there, the women, the women movement. When they start want to be like the men, they go in the, uh, the factory, start to work. That's how, what's her name? Emilia, what's that sister? Uh, you know my name. Emilia, 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 Emilia Bloomberg. She was the one that instituted that stuff, pants, for our women to work. In slavery, our women there, they knew better. They knew that they were, and Perry was dressed in skirt because that's modesty. You understand? Don't lay another man see your ship. Don't lay another man see your curve. Right. That's how you get ripped. That's how you'll be ripping six of them. Because if you went tight, men see you. Now you increase their loss in them. Now they want to do something to you. Right. And even if you attract men, you're not even attracting the, the good men. Bring it out. You understand? You have you have you have candy, right? You have two candies. One that's hoping one that's not. If you turn the flow, the fly is going to get on the one that's open. That's why I see sister and married and married don't last. Because they attracted men that's not serious. You understand? But when you cover up, you attract God-fearing men. Right. You attract that's men that have sense. That's the reason why our, our, our community will not have marriage in here. Just boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, you see a mother, she has five kids. Where the husband is? It's not here. Or a different baby daddy. Because what? The way she carry herself. You understand? The way she carry herself. Now I gotta change. Exodus chapter 28 and verse 41. Come on. And thou shalt put upon them, upon Aaron, thy brother. You see that? You should put upon them Aaron, thy brother. Brother, come on. And his son. And his son. It didn't say no female. It said brother and his son. What you should put on them? Uh, and thou shalt anoint them. Verse 42. Uh -huh. And thou shalt make them lending breaches. See that lending breaches. How you got parents in the soft? Breaches. You see that? Lending breaches. That's how you call parents in the south. You got a breach. Put on your breaches, boys. You know what I'm saying? Breaches. You say made them for your brother and your son. It isn't made for your daughter. Not a miracle. That's why I say you gotta be transformed in your mind. Right. You gotta change. You gotta change. Everything was taught to us, was taught to us by our slave master. That's right. You think our slave master will teach you and I what we need to know? You think he's going to teach us that we're God chosen people? Bring it up. Nah, he's going to teach everybody God love everybody. That's what he's going to teach us. That's why you see there's churches on each block and there's still crime in the neighborhood. Because it's the, 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 the enemy is not teaching us what we need to know. The only person that's going to teach you is your brothers. Right. That's right. It's your brothers. Because we are the prophet of the Lord.
Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.